Good day, my name is Rafael Kevin Ainagal and I'm the developer of the video-based module Bioenergetics. Acquisition and Utilization of Energy Tanan nga tao, or halos tanan nga tao, mahilig magkaon. May una nga mahilig sa mga sweet, sa maalat, sa maaslom, ag sa mga matambok. Pero, kasayod baga kita kung paano ginagamit it aton nga lawas dahil mga pagkaon nga ra? Daya ro aton nga topic sa rayang chapter it bioenergetics. So, how do organisms obtain energy from food? Well, energy from glucose or simply food is extracted via the removal of electrons from the molecule to produce ATP or adenosine triphosphate. ATP is the energy built up in this process called cellular respiration. It is important to note that both plants and animals participate in cellular respiration and therefore both have mitochondrion, the organelle where ATP production occurs. So, anoro ginatawag na cellular respiration? In the video, the summarized equation of the products and inputs of cellular respiration is shown. The inputs are the glucose and oxygen, and the products are carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. Cellular respiration is the process by which your cells transfer the energy in organic compounds such as glucose, starch, carbohydrates, into energy or in the form of ATP. It occurs in the cell cytosol and the cell's mitochondrion. This process exists in three stages. The first one, we have glycolysis. Second, the Krebs cycle. And lastly, electron transport chain. Now, what happens during glycolysis? Glycolysis is the production of ATP from glucose molecules in the cytoplasm or cytosol of cells. The cytosol is the clear portion of the cytoplasm. Sa diagram, makita natin imaw sa left side, do ginatawag nga first stage or glycolysis. Take note, this process does not require oxygen. First, glucose is first turned into 6-carbon glucose phosphate by consuming the ATP molecules in the cell. Ro sangka phosphate molecule it adenosine triphosphate time madukot sa kada end it glucose turning glucose into a six carbon glucose phosphate. Ro hagamit ng ATP will turn into ADP or adenosine diphosphate. Another enzyme then turns the six carbon glucose phosphate into two sets of three carbon sugar phosphate. And finally, phosphate ions and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide ions fuses with the three carbon sugar phosphates so that it will turn into pyruvates and the reduced form of NAD, which is the NADH. The ADP molecules in the cytoplasm fuses with the remaining phosphate ions from the pyruvate and turns into four ATP molecules of energy. Atong tandaan that starting with one molecule of glucose, glycolysis yields two molecules of pyruvate, two ATP, two NADH, and it does not require oxygen. The stage 2 of cellular respiration is called the Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle. 
it occurs in the mitochondria and requires oxygen. Here, the breakdown of glucose is completed and carbon dioxide is produced. This was named after the discoverer Sir Hans Adolf Krebs. This pyruvate is the byproduct of glycolysis during the first stage occurring in the cytosol. Take note that one glucose molecule entering glycolysis results in the production of two pyruvate molecules. Rayang molecules ay masugod sa mitochondrion and are acted upon by NAD and coenzyme A, thus converting them to molecules of acetyl coenzyme A, carbon dioxide, and NADH. Then, the acetyl coenzyme A combines with oxaloacetate in the mitochondrion to form citrate, also known as citric acid. This is a 6-carbon molecule. Daya rin nagapaangsod sa sangkatawo. Kaibahan din matugas. Several reduction reactions occur afterwards generating 3-carbon dioxide. 4 NADH, 1 FADH, and 1 ATP for every molecule of pyruvate. Multiply it by 2 since 2 pyruvates are created during the glycolysis. The third stage of cellular respiration is called the electron transport chain, also known as oxidative phosphorylation. This process includes the formation of approximately 30 ATPs that occurs in the mitochondria, and that is in the presence of oxygen. The electron transport chain is a series of compounds localized within the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. Raya Ranimao. Here are the stages that happens during the electron transport chain stage of the cellular respiration. The NADH passes electrons to the electron transport chain. As electrons are passed along the electron transport chain from NADH to oxygen, there are three places where protons from hydrogen ions are moved from the matrix to the intermembrane spaces. In the second phase, um, the FADH also passes electrons to the ETC. The FADH donates electrons to the um, EC ETC. There are two sites where hydrogen ions are moved from the matrix to the intermembrane spaces. Finally, protons flow through the ATP synthase in the third phase. The high concentration of hydrogen ions in the intermembrane spaces represents potential energy that is harnessed to make ATP when hydrogen ions flow through the ATP synthase down its concentration gradient. 34 ATP is produced in the electron transport chain, plus 2 from glycolysis, and another 2 from the Krebs cycle, a total of 38 ATP molecules from each molecule of glucose. However, in some cells, two ATP are used to move NADH into the mitochondria from the cytoplasm. Therefore, a grand total of 36 ATP is produced from each glucose molecule. What happens after glycolysis if there is no oxygen? Well, anaerobic respiration occurs. And what is anaerobic respiration? In the absence of oxygen, the cell goes through a process called fermentation. Remember that in glycolysis, pyruvate is created from glucose. Pyruvate is a branching point. In the presence of oxygen, the molecule goes to the mitochondrion to go to the Krebs cycle. However, if oxygen is absent, then fermentation exists. Kung amat, kinangan ko cell mag-produce energy bisan o white available ng oxygen, kaya nag-exist the fermentation.
This process provides energy without using oxygen. It is also called anaerobic respiration. Nagaproduce imaura it energy pero bukon kasing abo it regular nga aerobic respiration. May daywang klase it fermentation. Alcoholic fermentation, ag lactic acid fermentation. Let's discuss alcoholic fermentation. Nagakatabo da sa mga tanom ag amag kung uwa it available nga oxygen. The cell, after na nang he convert the glucose into pyruvic acid, enzymes in the cytosol turns them into ethanol or alcohol, uh, carbon dioxide. Ang syempre, energy in the form of ATP. Dahil do pa maagi kung paano na uubra do mga paborito at mga pagainom, wines at beer. Do sa bato pang type of fermentation hay lactic acid fermentation nga nagakatabo sa mga animal cells like humans. Do glucose nga ha convert into pyruvic acid sa glycolysis ay ginakonvert it mga enzymes into lactic acid ag ATP. Nagakatabo da sa mga cells nga kakinhangan energy ag uwa available nga oxygen like weightlifting. To get an idea kung gaano ka inefficient of fermentation sa aerobic respiration, 36 ATP do na po produce while in fermentation only 2 ATPs are produced.